Hello, this is Chris Menard. I love analyzing data in Microsoft Excel, but frequently the data, unless you're really digging into it, is hard to see what the trend is. So that's why I also love charts. Today I'm going to discuss when to use a line chart and two tips for line charts. So I pulled this file from Zillow. It is home prices in Atlanta, Georgia, and then it's even broken out by neighborhoods. But I'm going to focus on just Atlanta. I'm also on the tab called single family. Again, that's not important. If you have a lot of historical data that follows a trend, for example, if you took the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you may want to look at three years or five years of data. A line chart would be a great chart to use. A line chart is also a great chart to use for this data. I've scrolled all the way to the right. So it is May 2019 while I'm recording this. And I guess the data stopped in March. That's the most recent they have. I'm not going to do all the data. And the only reason I'm not is when I go back to the left, it starts in April 2009. And I'm only going to do the city of Atlanta. So let me stop. Uh, since it's since the data runs through March 2009 I'm going to go from March 2017 to the right so here we go I'm going to select A2 and A3 control highlight this data over to the right let go of the mouse let go of the control key so I've got just the data selected that I want to put a chart on a new worksheet quickly on the keyboard is the F11 function key. If you're a mouse person, you can come to insert and go get your chart. Now I want a line chart, so I'm going to go press F11. By default, it makes a column chart. You can see at the bottom that the legend is correct. But this is a great example for a line chart. So I'm going to go to Change Chart Type, Line Chart. I'm going to just take the default, click OK. There's my line chart. Just to help you see this, I'm going to collapse the ribbon because I'm recording so my screen is pretty small. So a little bit easier to see. I don't care about the chart title. I can come and change that. But here's one of my first issues. So I've got a line chart, everything's correct, but if you notice the actual line, just looking at it without looking over here at the legend or the numbers, the axis, it doesn't look like much of an increase from March 2017 to March 2019. And the reason is we start at zero on the vertical axis, 50,100. But it looks like the first data point is around 197, 198,000. So let's go fix that first. Right click any number, format the axis, axis options, minimum. Since it looks like it's around 200,000, let's make it 180 is what I would do. The max at 300 is actually okay with me. That'll give me a little bit of white space. So I'm gonna just click. There you go. I'm going to do an undo to show you the difference. There's the original. Now I'm going to do a redo. There's what I want to come up with. So that's my first tip. The second tip I have is frequently if I'm looking here and I'm trying to match up down here, I might get off. i got to sit there and look. So I'm going to throw in what's called drop lines. Charts in Excel have this really cool, easy feature called chart elements right here. When I click it, there are my chart elements. The issue is this. You don't have to count those. I've already counted them. There are 10 items over there. The one that I need is actually not listed. So you have to go to Chart Design, Add Chart Element. It looks Everything almost matches up exactly. I'm going from the left looking over to the right, but you have an extra one over here called lines. And here are drop lines right there. So I'm a big fan of drop lines 
when I'm using a line chart. Now this is much easier for me to read when I'm looking at this data point and looking down. And then the last little tip, again this one's completely optional. Since I've got the line clearly showing that in a two year period the prices of houses have gone way up for single family units. I don't know if I need these grid lines running across here so I'm going to just click. This one's completely optional. I'm going to uncheck it. They're off. On. Off. That one is up to you. The last thing I would do, and I'm not going to do it here, I would actually change this chart title because it just says Atlanta. I would come in and put what the chart title is about the house prices. Anyway, those are my tips for line charts. The one I really like though of all those that I just showed you is changing, there's two of them, changing the axis and the second one is doing drop lines. Big fan of drop lines. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great week.